Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how we can install DXCAM to improve the performance of our Python code. DXCAM is much better at screenshotting than MSS, however, it may have some compatibility issues. It can improve your performance from 30 to 50%, but it doesn't affect the actual inferencing, but rather how long it takes to screenshot. So to begin installation, start by copying this. Open terminal in VS Code and paste it. Now I already have the library installed, but it should install it for you and it should have no errors. So let's remove from MSS, import MSS. We're going to keep NumPy here in case we need it in the future. But we're going to replace MSS with import dxcam. Oh, actually, I'm going to do this in a separate script. I'm going to make a new script. I'm going to name it dxcam underscore main dot pi. Save it. Control A, Control C, Control V. Remove MSS. Import dxcam. To create the camera itself, go down here, create it at the bottom here, do camera equals dxcam.create. We're going to do device index equals zero. So it's going to put it on my GPU. Well, this is if you have multiple GPUs, this is going to be putting it on your primary GPU, I believe. And if you have multiple monitors, you need to do output index equals zero. So this is going to be put it on your primary monitor. Now output color equals BG, BGRA. BGRA is just the uh, most common format. And when using OpenCV, it's BGRA. That's what it displays. It's in BGRA instead of RGB. So we can remove with MSS as SDC, highlight everything down here, do shift tab, and that should bring it an in indent down. After that's done, we can replace screenshot with DX. No, we do camera dot grab. And then in brackets, we put region. I'm going to save it. I'm going to run the Python. And it should run perfectly fine. Oh, I forgot. We actually need to add one more thing. So DXCAM has a problem where it might screenshot a black screen, but or it might not screenshot anything. But that's because DXCAM runs on. So it's like if your screen is refreshed, then it will render a new screenshot. So rather than that, we're going to do if screenshot is none so if there's nothing in screenshot then we are going to continue so it's going to loop over and it's not going to run the model detection so i'm going to rerun this and it should be working so as you can see, the FPS will go to zero when I stop moving my mouse, or it'll go to a very low number. But when I start moving my mouse, so when my screen starts refreshing, it's going to bump up to about 46, 48. So I will show you how the performance differs in game in a second. So I currently have the MSS version activated and I'm in the practice range with all settings on low and my FPS is currently limited at 100. I'm getting about 26, 27 FPS, 28 FPS. This is for the MSS version. Now I'm going to switch over to the DX cam version. So this is the DX cam version. I'm getting about 35 FPS with um, the recording software on. So it's a large improvement from the MSS version. 
I'm getting a lot more FPS using my cheat. That's basically all for the video. In the next video, I'll show you guys how we can use Tensor RT by NVIDIA to improve our model's inferencing performance using our GPU.